To get started aligning the camera for your Emblazer 2, select the Emblazer 2 menu and the Calibrate Camera Alignment Wizard. This will bring up the Camera Selection drop-down. Select the E2 camera. From here we have to define a couple things. First thing we're going to define is the material thickness. Now for this we're going to go ahead and etch a piece of uh, 8.5 by 11 printer paper or an A4 style sheet. So this has a very negligible thickness. The next thing we'll define is the support height which if you're using the silicone mats is 10 millimeters. I find that the suggested speeds of 50 millimeters per second and 60% cut power in the wizard work just fine for printer paper. Next, we're going to place our printer paper in our cut area and use the frame button to ensure that we have our material placed in the correct position. So go ahead and place it roughly in the center of your mats, assuming that your mats are aligned correctly to your origin. And then go ahead and press the frame button. And this isn't quite right. It's a little far back towards the back of the machine. So I'm going to reposition the material down just a bit to make sure that my pattern lands perfectly on my paper. And this framing looks about perfect. From here, let's go ahead and close the lid of the machine and press the enable switch. Make sure that it turns red and we'll hit start and light burn to start burning our calibration grid. Alright, once the laser is done etching the grid, it's very helpful to have good lighting for the next steps. So go ahead and open up your machine, but make sure that you don't move the paper at all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to let the machine know where the grids are in the camera view. So it's important to click these in order. So number one is actually in the bottom right hand corner of the image, even though it's in the top left hand corner of the machine because of the orientation of the camera. So click as close to the center of this target as possible. If you don't get it quite right the first time, go ahead and click it a couple more times. Get it as close as you can. Now you'll notice that some of these targets aren't quite perfect. You'll get kind of a, a missing area in the middle. That's okay. Just get it as close as you can. And if you don't get it quite right the first time, you can move it around and get it a little better uh, as you're going forward. Now, once you have all four of them clicked, we'll go ahead and click next and we'll move on to the next step, which is checking to make sure that we have the grid set up exactly how we want it. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're actually going to use the camera and the physical laser. So click on camera control in Lightburn and click on the E2 camera in the drop down. Now this might resize your window to take over your whole screen. That's okay. You can grab over to the left and resize your windows to make it usable for you. Now click the update overlay button and this will project your uh, workspace onto the workspace in Lightburn. Now notice that the paper in the camera image is pretty trapezoidal and the picture on our overlay is very rectangular. This is because of the camera magic that's happening in the background of Lightburn, and this is why we're doing these calibrations. So what we can do is if we close the door, um, we can 
actually turn the laser on and be able to see exactly where it is positioned in the workspace. So if you click on the position laser button, you can move it to your first target, target one. And then in the move dialog, you can actually zoom the laser head down to get the beam spot pretty close to in focus. I like to use five to two millimeter increments for this to make sure I get a good focused beam. So then we'll use the laser position button and click on the first target and make sure it's where we want it. And then for the second target, do the exact same thing. Click in the center and make sure it's pretty close. This is a very close alignment. It's, it's as close as you will need for most of your projects, but if you ever need it better, you can actually use the X and Y shift in the camera control dialog box to position it in one direction or the other. Now this won't correct if, if your laser is trending towards the inside of the targets or the outside of the targets. The only thing that will correct that is redoing the calibration, but the X shift and Y shift will fix most of your problems. So once you're happy with the position of your overlay, go ahead and pull your calibration grid out and place a workpiece in the center or even the sides of your work area and then position the laser head uh, towards the um, bottom right of the uh, machine, very similar to where it was for the uh, camera calibration, just so that you have a good unobstructed view of your workspace, and click Update Overlay. Now, this will show you your image with your um, workpiece in it. And then you can go to Import, grab your geometry that you'd like to etch or cut and place it over your uh, workpiece to get a good idea of how it's going to look or um, get it positioned. And then from there, go ahead and start your job just like any other project. Be on the lookout for more tutorials coming your way for the Emblazer 2.